But first, let's talk about what's hot now. please. Who traveled over the holidays? <laughs> yeah, okay, so estimated 25 million Americans actually took a plane over the holidays, but for one little 10-year-old girl, the pat-down she received by the TSA agent left her feeling, quote, like screaming. Those were her words. Her dad, Kevin Payne, took this video at an airport in North Carolina. The reason she's being patted down, her, her name is Vendella, she was pulled aside for extra screening because she had left a beverage in her bag, but the family says the pat-down lasted nearly two minutes, it was excessive and inappropriate, and it upset her. What do you think? Too much? I mean, on the one hand, the TSA is criticized all the time for not doing their job, but did they go overboard in this case? I say get I... used to it, because, number one, I wear a wig and I have an underwire bra. <laughs> they always pat me down. I'm always... Yeah, yeah you're not... Wait a second. You're not 10 years old. No, but I was just saying, you're, you're, you're not 10. 10. How old are you? 30. What's my age got to do with a pat? That's a 10-year-old kid that's inappropriate. That's yeah. not, you know, if I was a parent, I would have intervened. Well, no one's, no one's been, it was I a woman doing it to her. Two minutes and... long. When they pat me down, it's like 30 seconds. Well, they go, do that. Yeah, do me too. TSA, though. Like, I just, I was on six different planes over the holidays, and there were times when certain pat-downs take longer because it really just depends on what pops up on the screen. Did she elect out of walking through one of those um, special sensors? I don't know the whole situation. Right, I don't know All that. I'm she's saying 10, is that though. I agree she's that she's 10. 10. And I do think that for children under a certain age, I don't know what that age should be. There should be a different set and of I protocols. There is. I think TSA is. has okay. said there is a different but set. But you have to remember, yeah. kids are used for all kinds of things too. Right. Pat her down. Make sure she's okay yeah, before she get on the plane with me. I appreciate it. But 120, 120 seconds is a very long time to pat down a ten-year-old. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I've always said, you know, TSA it is broken. We've had how many surveys and studies done that everything gets through. So. I want to go back to my original idea of I think this should be an ex-military job. I think everyone coming back from deployment needs to be all TSA agents because they're more trained. I, just, I do want to say this. Like these jobs. They have 25 million people flying. The TSA does a really good job. It's a really hard job. They have pissed off people going through security, trying to get to their flight. So, like, let's applaud them for doing their job, no, okay? You have to get through TSA. Look at Yeah, but I also love the out. TSA as well, and y'all amazing too. So don't pat me down unless you're a sexy <laughs> man. <laughs> You know, sometimes accused of profiling too, which yes. is, and in this case, you know, it's a kid. I mean, I, Barbara Walter used to talk about this all the time. She says, I'm an, I'm an older lady, and when I go through, they stop me. I mean, what are they crit critical of my work or what? And they'll always touch her. <laughs> always. I don't know, Barbara, I don't know if they still Some do, but. TSA <laughs> magnet, Yamanika. I, I get yeah. patted down every time. You know how scary is to a 10 year old kid. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She's confused. She, she doesn't had to drink, and, but I understand why they did it. Listen, I could be holding a bomb in here. They might have to well, check me. Like it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Really juicy. They're, they're patting me down to see if I have breasts. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Talk about controversies. It's been over two weeks since the Miss America pageant went... Oh, Miss Universe, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Harvey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, First I'm right. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he announces the winner is Miss Columbia. Yeah. And then, oh, it's not. It's Miss Philippines. And he has to apologize, and they take the crown off Miss Columbia. All right, all right. Here's the controversy. Clap if you think it was an honest mistake. Okay? Now, clap if you think it was calculated. Oh, so you're very you're trusting. You there. think it's... I don't. Lance is you leading. Know, I don't know you know this about me, but I love a conspiracy. You do. Um, you just mentioned it. You're look, so I, this is how I think it went down. I think there are two people that knew this. Uh, uh, Ari Emanuel, who just, you know, bought this pageant from Donald Trump. They needed this pageant to be a big splash because if it didn't have the good ratings or whatever, then Trump, Donald Trump would be like, see, without me, this ain't gonna do anything. Uh, so I think that they purposely made the card look very hard look to read it. because... It's so hard to the, understand. Yeah, it, it's hard because, you know, you see two, one, you would think, and then it looks like the logo's down there. But they knew what was going to oh, happen. I don't think so. He's like, listen, Steve, you're going to take a little hit for a little Here's bit, but you're going to come out smell like roses afterwards. You're going to be bigger than ever. I don't conspiracy, conspiracy. No. That was See, I just the trailer agree. just now. Yeah. <laughs> because live TV is really hard. How many times have you said something up here that you're like, oh, shouldn't have said that? No, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All, the time. Time. All the time. All the time. It's a huge audience. I think it was an honest he can't mistake. Over that mustache number one, okay? Because <laughs> you know, <I> <laughs> it's thick as I don't know what. And here's the thing. I, 
Yeah, and by one way, it, it got him a lot of attention. It got a lot of attention. Yeah. And whether she's speaking to him or not, I would be speaking she's not to him. Speaking but to him, I would Columbia. speak to him all the time. I'd be asking him, what happened? Why did you do this? Give me money. Do you have she's something? Not ready yet. She needs to be asked, talking to him all the time. Yeah. The one who came out smelling like roses is, re is really Miss Columbia yes. because everybody yes. will remember oh. her. She'll yes. be the most yeah. famous yeah. non-Miss Universe ever. ever. Exactly. And we'll she's see. She's mourning right now. She lost. They put she the crown like on Sophie her Vigard. head, and they took the crown oh, that was off her head. That was awful. That was the most was painful awkward. moment. To oh. watch. But we'll see next year if I was right. If Steve Harvey's hosting next year and it has the biggest ratings it's ever gotten, you'll know I was right. But how does he top this year then? If you're right. Well, I mean, everyone's going to be watching no matter what. It'll yeah, go yeah, smoothly yeah. Okay. next year. All right. It'll be fine.